Shifting focus to India, where India's capital, New Delhi, is hosting second edition of India-Australia 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue. And the two quad partners are ramping up defense ties and boosting overall strategic cooperation. Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar and their Australian counterparts Richard Miles and Penny Wong are all set to hold the talks. Australian and Indian Foreign and Defence Ministers meet every second year to discuss strategic issues in a 2 plus 2 format with the first ministerial 2 plus 2 held in New Delhi in 2021. Now, Canberra's relationship with New Delhi is Australia's oldest continuous formal diplomatic relationship with any Asian country. The Indian community is Australia's largest, second largest and fastest growing overseas born group. India remains Australia's largest source of skilled migrants and the second largest source of international students. In 2022, India was Australia's sixth largest two-way goods and services trading partner and fourth largest goods and services export market. Now, Canberra and New Delhi have joined forces to accelerate the production and deployment of renewable energy technologies. And the aim here is to create new economic opportunities, diversify global clean energy supply chains and help reduce global emissions. The Australia-India relationship was upgraded to a comprehensive strategic partnership in June 2020 and it is based on mutual understanding, trust, close connections and a shared vision of a stable, open and prosperous Indo-Pacific. And as mentioned earlier, the countries are part of the Quad grouping. Now the Quad officially, the Quadrilateral Security Dialogue is a group of four countries. India, the United States, Australia and Japan and the grouping was a concept developed by late Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe as he sought unity among four democracies that have seen friction with China. It's a loose grouping rather than a formal alliance and China, a country with growing territorial ambitions, has condemned the grouping as a move to encircle it. All four Quad members insist a free and open Indo-Pacific is essential and the Quad grouping has repeatedly emphasized that its goal is to maintain the liberal rules-based international order. Now, China seeks to undermine the rules-based order with a revisionist challenge of the status quo and the Quad efforts are not focused on creating institutions or military alliances but the idea is to generate gradual convergence of cooperation on issues such as climate change, critical and emerging technologies, counter-terrorism and cyber security. Now with defense outposts on artificial islands, China claims almost all of the South China Sea and the South China Sea is a key gateway for a large chunk of the world's merchant shipping. The sea contains rich fishing grounds and reportedly reserves of undiscovered oil and gas. And the South China Sea therefore is a key economic and strategic subsection of the Indo-Pacific.